It's that good old 39 week belly. <laughs> April 15th this is baby girl <sighs> what's going on y'all this is week 39 starting today and today is April 15th 2014 excuse me if my energy isn't high in this video I am very 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 tired today um i'm just not really feeling that great so in the background you see we put up her letters they're on the wall behind the curtains are lights they light up i would have had them on but it just it drowned out the color the color didn't look right so you know y'all see that one day the rest of her room mm -mm, it's not done no it's mm -mm, it's not done and i'm 30 now yeah i'm not done it's not done Mm -mm. so <laughs> I already just said that I'm gonna pretty much finish her room after I have her um because I kind of want to I don't know I kind of want to wait till I feel her a little bit more before I put all this stuff up I don't know I feel like I want to take her into account and once I meet her I'll be able to know exactly how I want everything that's just how I feel that's me I want to make this her space. I don't want this my space to be my space for her. I want this to be her space. So I kind of want to wait and meet her and finish the rest. I have pictures that I want to put up and you know, like I have a little shelf thing I want to put up. I have the little pom pom things that I had from my baby shower that I may put up, but I kind of just want to see how she is first and we'll go from there. Um, okay, let's get into how i'm feeling i mean for the most part i'm pretty good i'm getting to the point where i'm getting very very tired um on this past saturday the 12th i was having preterm contractions braxton hicks contractions for about two hours they weren't really intense but it you know it was enough to make me want to be like whoa <laughs> You know, like I could, I was eating and then I, I couldn't even finish my food. So, um, and she was moving the entire time I was feeling them. So, um, I started to walk a little bit more like over the weekend and at work, I'm wa walking more, trying to get her to come on, let's go. <laughs> um, my bag is ready to go. I just need to add in, I know. It's done, but I need to add in my dress that I'm going to wear home. I am not taking a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not being fussy about it. I'm going to take the things I feel like that I may need, not just want to have there. Um, but other than that, I'm not, I'm not overdoing it. I'm just, I guess really my thing is I'm over it. Like I just want her here at this point. That's how I feel. I'm ready to meet her. I'm still very much excited. I'm getting a little nervous about just entering motherhood. I'm not nervous about, you know, labor, delivery. I'm I'm nervous about motherhood as a whole, not even just this first weeks. I'm like, the rest of my life I will be in this role. And, you know, I'm just nervous about that. I mean... I don't know it's that's just me I also feel like I know some people probably are overly excited about their little one arriving I'm excited but it's like I feel like I'm a little overwhelmed at times with not necessarily with emotion but just grasping my mind around it all I don't know I just I don't know. I, I I want to meet her and see what her personality is because that'll make me a little bit more comfortable. I guess my thing is more anxious of the unknown and knowing how she's going to be, how her personality will be, how her behavior will be. That is more of my thing. I am just being really honest. Everything ain't peaches and cream. <laughs> you know, like 
everybody want to give you that good goo goo ga ga story you know of what they're feeling and i definitely feel a connection with her i feel like i definitely love her already like i can't i just cannot wait for her to get here and learning who she is she's not as active i know i posted that video of her movement she is not as active because she doesn't have as much room like when she moves now it almost is like ugh, like it almost hurt me like one day last week she was moving quite a bit and i'm like it was to the point where it was starting to hurt me with her moving like it was like she was stretching my skin as far as it could go like ugh, that's what it felt like so i ate and she went right on to sleep and that was it i've also yeah i'm talking about you <laughs> um also like food wise i just stay hungry i don't have any cravings right now except two weeks ago my cravings was strawberry shortcake and which still right now i still could eat strawberry shortcake at any point right now sunday somewhere out of like the blue I was trying to figure out what did I want to eat and all of a sudden I just wanted mashed potatoes. We went to a buffet and they had mashed potatoes. I just got like a couple forks full, fork full of mashed potatoes. I was good. I just needed to, ha I don't know. I just needed to have the taste of mashed potatoes in my mouth. I don't know what that was about. Um, so at this point I'm trying to figure out remedies to get her here naturally. Um, my doc, like I said, my doctor has offered to induce me. I'm trying to not go that route. However, last week we did go to the doctor. I am, my cervix are soft or effaced, whatever you want to call it, but I have not dilated yet. So, but I'm like, with all these freaking Braxton Hicks and, or whatever, preterm contractions, whatever I'm feeling, whatever, either way, no dilation for real. So I've, that's another reason why I've been trying to walk and get my body moving and going because I definitely feel the pressure of her down there, especially when I'm standing. I feel the pressure of her, but it's just like she's not fully engaging in that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like she's just comfortable in there and she doesn't want to let my body go. <laughs> and I'm cool with that. Like I, I am enjoying... I'm still loving feeling her on the inside. I, because that's something I've always thought about. When, you know, before I was pregnant, I'd always look in the mirror and just, you know, how every, when you a little girl, you look in the mirror and poke your stomach out or put something in your shirt. Like, this is how I look when I'm pregnant. And then imagine what it feels like to have a baby inside of you and you can feel the movement. I've always dreamt of that. I've never not had that idea in my head. So to now be able to experience and feel it, I am enjoying it. Um, I feel like that's the part of being pregnant that I'm gonna miss the most. It's actually feeling her move and turn and I can feel her head moving. I can feel her arms, her foot being right here. I'm gonna miss that. Just like she just put it right here, right now. <laughs> I'm going to miss every bit of that, but you know, I'm also ready to experience what it's like for me to have my own child um, and and bring another life in this world, you know? Oh, my memory, you guys. Mm -mm. It is the absolute word. I thought I had pregnancy brain before. Nope. Whole new level now. If I'm in the middle of talking about something and any little thing breaks my memory, it's gone. I cannot remember. It, it takes forever for me to remember. Like I'll have to leave and come back to it later. 39 weeks, you guys. Ah, where did the time go? I have no idea. Anyways, so I'm sure I've logged enough. Who knows, next time y'all see me, she may be here, who knows. My plan is to vlog when I start feeling contractions, the whole process, that's the plan. I'm going to say that is the end of week 39. That is the wrap up. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. She should be here soon, y'all. She should be here soon. Bye, y'all.